I want to thank you all for being here today and welcome to the Energy Climate Grid Security Subcommittee hearing titled Politics Over People, How Biden's LNG Export Ban Threatens America's Energy and Economic Security. Ignoring science and heeding the loudest of his political base, President Biden recently moved to ban exports of U.S. liquefied natural gas, or LNG. And he did this over the best interest of the American people. Less than two weeks ago, the Biden administration announced that it would impose an indefinite ban on the issuance of LNG export permits to non-free trade agreement countries where it conducts, while it conducts a review to consider the climate impacts of natural gas. The Biden administration did not issue an executive order or request Congress to enact legislation, but instead issued this major policy shift through a fact sheet and a press release. The announcement indicates no endpoint or timeline for this indefinite pause. We invited the Department of Energy to testify, but they declined to send anyone to this hearing. They left America and communities throughout Louisiana and Texas with many unanswered questions and unrecognized concerns. I'm thankful, however, we'll get to hear from witnesses who can speak to the benefits of US LNG and how the ban on LNG exports will harm the American economy, our energy security, and our national security. LNG exports strengthen energy security, create jobs, decrease energy prices here at home, and lower emissions globally. US LNG exports could support up to 452,000 additional American jobs and add up to 73 billion to the US economy, economy by 2040. They can also create billions of dollars in revenues for federal, state, and local governments. In addition to undercutting our domestic energy industry, President Biden's decision is a gift of Vladimir Putin. Global demand for natural gas is expected to increase 46% by 2050. And our European and Asian allies who want to do business with the United States will now look to Qatar, Russia, and Iran to meet their growing energy needs. The Biden administration's energy policy has been a handout to our adversaries. The happiest person when Biden took office was Vladimir Putin. He knew he could continue to exploit the stranglehold of the well-funded radical climate lobby has on this administration. These radical environmentalists don't seem to care about the economic and environmental benefits ex of exporting U.S. gas has, especially to countries desperate to escape energy poverty. Under current law, any person wishing to import or export U.S. natural gas must first obtain approval from FERC to construct and operate an LNG facility. This requires applicants to complete an environmental and safety review. After FERC issues the certification, DOE conducts a public interest review of the project. DOE is required to do this for all exports going to non-free trade agreement countries. DOE is required to grant the export application unless it is found that the proposed exportation and importation of LNG is not in the public interest. Congress intended the public interest requirement to consider economic factors when it originally enacted the Natural Gas Act. The Biden administration has weaponized this review in order to pursue climate objectives. Ironically, Biden and the environmental radicals are going to achieve the opposite because a ban of U.S. LNG exports will increase global emissions. Republicans have a solution. My colleague, Congressman Fluger, recently introduced H.R. 7176, the Unlocking Our Domestic LNG Potential Act. This is a bill formerly led by Representative Bill Johnson. This bill would lift all DOE restrictions on import and export of natural gas. Export facilities would still have to receive certification from FERC, but DOE would no longer be able to halt exports based on this administration's weaponized public interest test. DOE has consistently found that U.S. LNG exports serve the public interest because they contribute positive economic benefits and strengthen energy security for the American people. These exports also have the potential to reduce global greenhouse gas emissions. Mr. Pfluger's bill is a solution to pushing back on yet another awful Biden energy policy, and I urge all my colleagues to support that effort. 